Bang. another review today will be the 1 8th scale spike from cowboy bebop this is from first four figures which is a statue company primarily they do a lot of great animation pieces from games shows animes etc and this is their spike the last stand version from Basically the last episode from Cowboy Bebop. Which is my favourite anime of all time. You know, if I was to put a list, this is 100% my top favourite. Right next to like Akira and Battle Angel and all that. I think this one just stands out so much more than those guys. Even though I do love those animes, but... Yeah, Bebop has always been something special for me. And this is the exclusive version. So it comes with a different skews. It comes with a double pack with Vicious. Basically them two standing off. It comes as a standard with just the one head sculpt as displayed here. But the exclusive that I have comes with a secondary swap out head sculpt. And I also think if I just turn it a bit there... I don't think the standard has the blood effects and the knife. So you got the knife there and the blood dripping down from the hand and the battle damage. So I've zoomed in pretty far to see the details of the blood and I think it looks fairly good. You gotta remember this is an anime representation of a piece. So it's not meant to be realistic. But I do think the paintwork and the application, the weathering in the hands is really, really good. And you could just imagine it feeding up to the blood patch there. And then also to the shoulder where the knife is. So this whole arm is just probably numb at this point. And you've got a nice profile there of Spike. And this is the way you're supposed to have him displayed going by the instructions. And it magnetizes on the front of the base and Vicious would be next to him. And yeah, I think it's a really, really nice piece. What I would really love is a 1-6 scale representation of this, of this look, because if you can see behind me, I am a 1-6 scale collector, not a 1 -eighth. I do know 3-0 have tease theirs and put theirs up on pre-order, I'm going to get that as well. But I would really love if first four figures do a 1-6 of this statue, because I think this is my favourite look of Spike. So it would be really, really good if we get that in an actual figure format with fabric goods and all that. And I'll just spin him around to show the back of the trench coat. So it's in a dynamic pose, much like the scene. It's really, really good. This is all uh, polystone or resin. This belt is a softer plastic that clips in. So it doesn't break in packaging, which is a really nice smart move. A lot of statues do this now, how they have separate parts that you clip on. You got the blood there at the back of the elbow. You got weathering marks there from the animation drawing. Looks really, really nice. You got one of the pistols there. Obviously, Spike had two pistols in the anime and it's cocked back. So it's he's just in the motion of shooting it, which is a nice touch. There are some add-ons here, so you got a magnetized rock that goes here, and you've got another one here. I think it's just to help 
the seam line to add vicious here because to add vicious you're going to have spike facing each other like this and just going up to the head sculpt one more time before I swap it out. So again, this is just the standard head sculpt. Which is really, really nice. Like, you know who that is for sure. I'm zoomed right up to him just to get all the details. Looks really, really good. So to swap out the head sculpt, it's on a magnetic neck piece. So you just pop it out. Let me see if this focus, there we go. Got a bit of foam on the top there. I really love the green tips in the hair, much like the anime. So his hair is black, but in some scenes it has green tips. And I love how they portray that in this. Similar to the Batman animated series, where the cape is black, but there's some hints of blue on the suit too, it's similar to this effect as well. So I'll pop that down and grab the exclusive head sculpt, which is my favorite. This suits the scene so well with the blood and the really, really angry expression. See, I am a 1.6L collector and I do want the 3.0 version, but the 3.0 one doesn't have this expression and this look. And I personally really, really love this look. Because again, this is the final scene. The final battle with Vicious. And yeah, this just looks awesome. The trench coat just gives so much more character to the piece. So I've panned down to the base and for people that want to know how this pegs in, it's with this foot, it's a regular pole that just goes in and this leg just kind of floats on its own. So maybe be careful with knocking it because this leg can just go everywhere if you're not careful. Uh, like I said, you got magnetized bits and I'm pretty sure this is a whole massive magnet to add vicious. And just going to the detailing of the actual, I don't know if this is concrete or cloth in the anime, but when you run your hands on it, it's almost got like a sandpapery type feel. Uh, very different to the rock and this part of the base. It's really nice, it's different texturing. But yeah, I really, really love this piece. It's unfortunate that, well, it's not really an unfortunate thing. It's just, it's in one eighth scale. So it's not going to be compatible with your 1-6 scale stuff. But if you're a 1 8 collector, if you're a Cowboy Bebop lover, like myself, I mean, I couldn't pass up on this just because how unique of a piece it is. And later down the line, when the 301 does release, I might do comparisons just on like likeness and how form-fitting the clothes look on the different pieces. But yeah, I mean, this is an awesome pose. And this is my first four figure as well. So I'm interested to see how they go with this line, if they continue. I know they're doing a Fae and obviously Tank, they're doing the whole crew, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, again, like I said, they upscale it to 1.6. They have done 1 fourth pieces, but I would really, really love a 1.6. Just pretty much this and upscale it. I would really love that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Just a quick little review on the Cowboy Bebop Spike by First Four Figures. 
this is the exclusive and if you guys didn't enjoy this make sure you like and sub and i'll see you in the next one